Hi there, welcome to my channel. Uh, today what we'll be doing is we're going to do a planner page and basically what I'll be doing is a collage uh, which I'll be photocopying and uh, this page is basically to uh, reuse it and to make uh, different pages. <laughs> Here I am gluing uh, two pages together just to make it a bit thicker and I'm just cutting off the edge so it can look a little bit neater. Uh, here I am selecting the pictures uh, for the collage I'm going to do. Um, I'm using all kinds of bits of paper, even some paper from old books that I found. Um, so I'm just testing to see how it'll look. Uh, here yeah, I am using uh, bits of scrap paper. You can use anything that you want. Uh, you don't have to use photographs. You can use scraps of paper, your own drawings, uh, what are you, whatever you would like to use. What I like about collage is that it's quite versatile and you can choose just about anything and uh, besides photos you can use uh, uh, magazines and uh, all kinds of other forms. Here is the completed version of it and now I'm going to be painting on it. I decided before I paint on it that I was just going to do some drawings. I just wanted to put some uh, leaf effects onto the drawings and uh, just so that I could uh, create some more texture uh, when I finish it in color. Uh, here I am finishing the drawings. Um, it it kind of looked more interesting. I found that it was uh, made a better page and it, it created uh, interest. Uh, you don't have to be a great artist to do these kind of doodles. Um, you just have to practice what you want to put on your page. Uh, you don't even have to do artwork. You just have to find the, the things that you'd like to create and to create the surface you want. Um, I just like to use photos and pieces of magazine and pieces out of books. Um, here's two of them that I've kind of done. And uh, now I will be uh, doing some color on it. I'm not even sure if I'm going to use these pages. Uh, I might use some other pages. I'm probably going to do about six or seven pages. Uh, here's another page that I've done. Um, I've even put words onto it. And here I'll be starting off the color. Here I'm using a thing called Mod Podge, which I'll be mixing with the uh, poster paint. I find it reacts uh, very strangely with the poster paint. But for some reason, it seems to retain the color. 
because uh, poster paints tend to become very uh, light after you've used them or when they dry. Uh, here I am mixing white and uh, Mod Podge uh, together. Uh, the white is basically just to create a uh, a much grayer area for all the dark bits, and uh, so that when I photocopy it, it becomes a little bit lighter, and that I can uh, use the pages to write on. Uh, what I do after this, I then clean some of the areas where I want color to show. I basically just take some tissue or some toweling and I just uh, dab it out until I get uh, the kind of effect I want. Yeah, I'm just taking the excess from the other page and putting it on to this page. Um, here I have taken, uh, dabbed all the colors out. Uh, um, to show all the colors, I've wiped uh, some of it away. And now I'm applying my first color. Uh, this is my background color. Um, sometimes it's better to start with your background color uh, or your main color so that you can uh, decide on what color you want to do next. Uh, this is the second color that I applied on. I waited for the other color to dry. Um, I just want to say I mixed the, the Mod Podge with the yellow as well as with this blue. And uh, so that I could create the surface. Um, I haven't completely covered every bit of it. But I just build up the color until it comes right. Uh, once you have uh, colored everything, uh, you just wipe away the excess color that you got until you can see a kind of interesting page.
Uh, the drawings that I did, I'm actually painting them now. You can just see them through the color. And basically what I'm doing now is I'm just painting uh, those colors, uh, those drawings in into a white. But you don't have to use white. You can use any other color. Uh, this is the final page that I have. And uh, this is how it came out and how it looked. Uh, it was okay. I was quite impressed with the colors. They look really good. And uh, now I'm going to photocopy them. Uh, these are the photocopies that I've done from the page. And what I did was I printed them on the other side just to see what they look like. Um, it, they came out all right, except they came with a white edging. I couldn't get them to fit it on the actual pages. So sometimes you just have to put up uh, with what you get on a photocopy. This is the overall look that I've done of the pages. It came out really well. I was quite pleased with it. And uh, as you can see, it, it looks really good. Um, I'm probably going to do this method for other themes because I wanted to do like a tropical Miami theme and this came out really well. Um, this page was really quite easy to do. It's not as complicated as it, as it looks and it's just a case of trial and error in order to achieve what you want to do. Uh, I would like to say uh, thank you for watching, uh, please subscribe and leave a comment and I uh, will decide on the next project.